This video shows you how to align the blade and the rip fence to the table. The table is fixed to the saw frame and does not need adjustment. The procedure will help ensure that both cross cuts and rip cuts are properly aligned to the blade. The procedure consists of two primary tasks. Align the blade to the miter slots. Align the rip fence to the miter slots. You can align the blade first or the rip fence first. The order doesn't matter. In this video, I align the blade first. To begin, as always, take precautions before working on the saw. Turn off the saw. Unplug the saw. For an extra measure of safety, lock out the power switch. Set the bevel to zero degrees and then set the blade to maximum elevation. Remove the microguard. Use the marker pen to mark one of the teeth. Loosen the locking knob on the combination square and then place the square against the side of the right-hand miter slot at the back of the blade. Align the end of the ruler of the combination square with the marked tooth. Slide the ruler against the side of the marked tooth Use a light touch here. Do not deflect the blade. While holding the combination square securely in place, tighten the locking knob. Rotate the blade so that the marked tooth is at the front of the blade and align the square. If there is a gap, measure the gap with the feeler gauges. If 25 hundredths of a millimeter or 1 10 thousandths of an inch or less, the alignment is within tolerance and no further work is required. As before, hold the square securely against the side of the miter slot. In this example, the alignment is out of tolerance and needs to be adjusted. If the blade is misaligned such that the combination square bumps into the marked tooth and is pushed away from the miter slot, I'll deal with that scenario in the following steps as well. You use the alignment adjustment bolt to align the blade. For access to the alignment adjustment bolt, you'll remove the motor cover. But first, to facilitate removal of the cover, set the bevel to 45 degrees. Use the Phillips screwdriver to remove the five screws. Two of the screws are near the front of the saw. The other three screws are behind the accessory tray. If the saw is on the optional stand, remove the cover down through the bottom of the frame, down through the stand. Turn the cover so it fits down through the frame. If the saw is on a workbench, tip the saw up just enough to remove the cover through the bottom of the saw frame. Set the bevel back to zero degrees. Before continuing, we'll take a quick look at how the alignment mechanism works. You turn the alignment adjustment bolt, which is threaded through the alignment block. The alignment block rests against the blade alignment bracket. Turning the bolt pushes the trunnion assembly right or left, depending on which way you turn the bolt, which in turn shifts the blade. Use the 5mm hex key wrench to turn the bolt a small amount. In this example, I turn the bolt clockwise to push the trunnion to the right, closing the gap. I turn the bolt just enough to make the tooth lightly contact the end of the square, which I'm holding securely against the side of the miter slot. If the blade is misaligned to the right, turn the alignment adjustment bolt, of course, counterclockwise. In either case, you should only need to turn the bolt a small amount. With the power off and the saw unplugged, Spin the blade by hand to confirm there is no interference with the insert. Check at both 0 and 45 degrees. When satisfied with the alignment, install the motor cover.
Next, check the alignment of the rip fence. There are three sets of mounting lugs for the rip fence. The set on the left-hand side doubles for storing the rip fence under the table. Mount the rip fence to the mounting lugs closest to the blade. Unlock the rip width control, and then adjust the rip width so that the front portion of the rip fence aligns flush with the edge of the miter slot. Lock the rip width control. Now confirm that the face of the rip fence is flush with the entire length of the miter slot. In this example, the rip fence is angled away from the miter slot. Use the included 4mm hex key wrench to loosen the mounting lug on the rear rail. You only need to just break loose the mounting lug. Unlock the rear latch, and then shift the rip fence into alignment with the miter slot. Hold the rip fence securely, lock the latch, and then tighten the mounting lug. Confirm the alignment. Repeat this process for the other two sets of mounting lugs. Finally, make sure the mounting lugs are tight. Unlock the power switch. Plug in the saw. And be sure to install the microguard. That's it. You have learned how to align both the blade and the rip fence for your SawStop Compact Table Saw. If you have questions, contact SawStop Service.